Well, hello everybody and welcome to Family Yoga. I'm so excited that you're here and we're sharing this experience together. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do, we're all going to be standing up. Um, and just so you know, after we do some standing poses, we're going to go down on our mat and, um, and uh, read a book and do yoga while we're reading the book as well. So the only thing that you might want to have with you is um, a strap of some kind because we're going to be doing some partner poses and if two people are really different sizes, we might need to have a strap because we might not be able to reach uh, the hands of the other person. So just have that on hand. If you don't have a strap like this, a yoga strap, go find a belt from, you know, like a bathrobe or just something that's, you know, that's just kind of long enough to be a strap. Could be even an old tie that your dad's not wearing or your mom's not wearing. So, um, okay. So that's what we'll need. And maybe you might want to have some water as well. So, um, first thing we're going to do very, uh, we're just going to stand up nice and tall in mountain pose. Um, also called Tadasana. Can you say Tadasana? So standing up nice and tall, take a deep breath in and then breathe it out. Breathing in and breathing out. All right. So now we're grounded, our feet are flat. Now we're gonna do a little bit of shaking our sillies out. So we've all been indoors probably and we're running out, we need some energy, we need to get loose and get rid of some of that energy. Shake your hands high, shake your feet high, maybe even turn around, shake, 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 shake those sillies out and ah, come back to Tadasana. Let's do that one more time. Shake, 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 shake. Turn around, wave your arms all over the place. Shake, 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 shake. Shake that booty and back to mountain pose. Ah, very good. Take a deep breath and breathe out. Ha. Ah. Do it again. Breathe in and then breathe out. One more time, breathing in. And then as you breathe out, see if you can anchor those feet even deeper and harder and melt those feet into the earth. Beautiful. Now let's see if we can move a little bit with our breath. So as we breathe in, see if we can raise our arms as we breathe in. And then as we breathe out, bring those arms back down by our hips. Let's do that again. Breathing in. And breathing out. One more time. Breathing in. Moving with our breath and then breathing out. Now this time when we exhale, we're going to bend our knees and we're going to fold forward from our hips. So we're going to bend over. So breathe in. Now bend those knees, bring your arms down, and this time bend at the hips and fold forward facing the ground, and then breathe in again, bringing those arms up straight to the sky, palms together, and now bring your hands home to your heart. Let's do that again. Breathing in and breathing out. Bend those knees, forward fold, and one more time, come on up, palms together, Hands home to your heart. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in. And this time, as we come up, we're only going to come halfway. Put your hands on your shins. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Forward fold. Now breathing in. Arms up. Palms together. Hands home to your heart. Let's do that again. Breathing in. And bend those knees, forward fold, hands on your shins, come halfway up, and forward fold again, and breathing in, palms together, hands home to your heart. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of breathing with our partner. So you're going to turn back to back with whoever is your partner. You might have more than two people at home doing this. 
So you can switch off and do this with each dip person. Or let's say you have three or four people, maybe three people might work. You can sit back, you can stand back to back and then one on the side because we're gonna breathe together. And so while you're back to back with somebody, now I don't have a person, but imagine that I have a person standing back to back to me and we're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Now, if you are shorter than the another person, then you're gonna have to kind of make adjustments. Maybe, maybe the taller person gets on their knees and then gets close to the other person so that you can, you can touch your backs. So the idea here is that we wanna feel each other breathing and bring that, make that connection with somebody else. So keep breathing this way. And now you can link hands and, and your palms together. And now as we breathe, just like we did when we were standing, as we breathe in, we're gonna raise our arms together and breathe out. Now if you're standing, we're gonna do the same thing. So we breathe in, arms together, your palms are together, breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful, let's do that again. Breathing together, moving together. And one more time, breathing in, feeling each other back to back and breathing out. Wonderful, okay, now face forward. Now, how cool is this? We're gonna do another partner pose called rooftop. And we're gonna make like a little house. And so um, you'll stand across from your partner, or if you have maybe more than one person, you might have three people, or maybe you're even standing. Really, if you have four people, you wanna face each other. So two lines facing each other. If there's three people, maybe you can, you can probably do it kind of where you're in a kind of circle. So here's the idea, is that you're gonna raise your arms and you're gonna link arms together. So link your hands together, link your palms together, and you're gonna step back and lean to each other, lean into each other, so that you're leaning against each other. So if I was to say lean against a wall like this, it's the same concept, except you're leaning against another person. And so if you have three people, I'm not sure if it'll work, you might wanna try. It's all about exploring and experimenting and seeing how this, what we can do. How can we adapt to our situation? And you make a rooftop, so your arms are the rooftop, and you're, it's, what's important here is you're relying on your partner so that you don't fall, right? So it requires trust and teamwork. So leaning against each other, holding here, breathing, and I might do it against the wall here. All right, very nice. All right, come on back up, shake it out. Shake out your sillies. Shake, shake, shake. All right, very good. Stand in mountain pose now. Feel your feet rooted into the ground, into the earth, like the roots of a tree. Lift your shoulders up, roll them back. <sighs> Standing nice and tall. Maybe press your toes into the earth, feeling one toe at a time. Okay, very good. Now we have one more partner pose um, that we're gonna do. Actually, not just one more. We might have a little more after this. So this is what we call opening up your heart. And it's, a, it's also another trust pose. So one of you, so um, what we'll do is you'll first face each other. That's probably the best way to do it. And then one of you turn your back to the other person. And the person who's turned away will reach their arms behind them and your partner will grab onto your hands or maybe up here on your wrists and the person facing out will lean forward while the person behind your partner is holding you back so you don't fall. 
So this is also about trusting, but it's also, we want to bend our knees just a bit because we don't want to stick our butt out like this. So we, we kind of bend our knees and, and lean forward and maybe you straighten. Now I can't do it because I'm gonna fall forward. I don't have a partner with me. And just leaning forward and just opening up your heart here, opening up your, your, your chest like this, open real wide and just leaning forward and then come on back and then switch partners. All right, so now switch partners and let's do that the other way. So again, the other partner is going to grab onto your, your hands standing behind you and you might have to make adjustments. So as the person facing out leans forward, the person holding them might have to step back a bit because we want that feeling of leaning forward where we feel like we're falling, but your partner, they got you. All right, they got you. They're not going to let you fall. All right. Beautiful. And, you know, if there's, say, odd, an odd group, if you have three people, you know, you might want to experiment, see what would happen if all three of you even turned around. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure if that will work, but if all three of you turned around and leaned, leaned out, I mean, what would happen? Actually, you'll all fall down. So forget that idea. All right, so you just might have to switch with each other. All right, wonderful. So that's our open heart, that's our partner pose. And these are all things you all can do together at any time. Um, you know, if you just feel like, you know, connecting, you feel like moving, you feel like doing something together, you know, you just can go ahead and whip out a partner pose just like that. All right, now while we're standing, um, we're gonna move into a couple of balancing poses. So. If you can see my feet, actually, so our feet are what we call hip width apart. So how do we tell if it's hip width? Um, you, you can turn your heel uh, in towards the inner knuckle toe, the inner knuckle of your other toe, and come up on your, the balls of your feet and come out, and that's, that's hip width apart. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna stand tall in mountain pose. So we feel, in fact, close your eyes and maybe put your finger at the very crown of your head, the very top of your head, maybe grab a little piece of hair and gently, don't pull hard, just gently lift. And then you go ahead and let go and just bring your hands, both arms down by your side palms facing out, close your eyes. So that feeling that you have a string pulling you from the top of your head as we breathe and we feel anchored, we feel our feet connected into the earth like the roots of a tree. All right, and so go ahead and open your eyes slowly if they're closed. So speaking of tree, we're gonna do tree pose or riksasana is the, uh, is the, is the Sanskrit term. It's an ancient language. So we're all gonna shift our weight over to the right side. And then we're going to turn our feet. So just like we did where we turned our foot to get hip width apart. So you can stay right here and just come up on your toes and let your heel gently rest on your ankle. Or you can raise your foot up like this. Make sure it's on, on your calf and make sure it's, it's under your knee. And if you really want even a little more of a challenge, and if you feel very much open here in your hips, you can bring your foot all the way up. Wherever you are is where you are. There is no judgment and there is no competition in what we're doing here. So we're gonna come up into tree pose. So go ahead, first shake it out, shake it out, all right. Now let's do that again. Our feet are hip width apart. We're really anchored into the earth like roots from it in a tree. Shift your weight and then turn your foot so that your foot's on your ankle. You can rest like a kickstand on your toes or bring your foot up. And from here, we can raise our arms high, just like this, or we can keep our arms down to our heart space, just like this. 
All right. Now go ahead and lower your hands. Shake out that leg, the other leg, the standing leg. And just take a moment here and just notice what it feels like. So one side that you were standing on that, that had all, that bared all of its weight, um, it feels different probably than the other side, which generally will feel a little bit lighter. So in yoga, we always want to balance. So we do one side, we want to do the other. And now uh, we can actually, as a group, as a partner, you can have your partner next to you, or if you have more than two people, you can be standing in a circle and we can do a tree circle. So in this case, so we're going to switch to the other side now and turn your heel, turn your heel to touch your ankle. And you can keep it there or you can lift it and balance. And if your foot toe is down, that's perfectly fine. Just play with lifting your toe every once in a while. And then you always have your toe to go back on if you need it. So we're resting our, our, our foot into our calf. And as partners, so if you're standing next to your partner, or maybe in a circle, we hold each other up. So we're now a tree, now we're a forest, all together. Right, we're together, we hold each other up, we support each other, we care for each other, we love each other. And now raise up your arms, but as individuals, we are also strong and independent and powerful. Beautiful, okay, arms down and shake it out. Now just notice how if you feel more balanced on one side than the other. Okay, so one more balancing pose. So you can go ahead and partners can stand opposite each other. And um, if you have an odd number, you can actually three people can face each other. So we're gonna move into warrior three. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to step back with our right, with our, our uh, right foot and then we're going to begin to lean forward, kind of like what we were doing when we were doing our, um, our trust pose before our, heart, our open heart pose. And just begin to lean forward. And when you're ready, you can keep that, that toe down. Or when you're ready, go ahead and begin to lift that leg, straight leg. We want to draw that belly in, draw in that navel, your belly button. Now you can reach forward and maybe even grab the hands of your partner. All right? Or if you want, you can fly like a bird or maybe soar like a jet plane. Whatever you feel like doing here. Lovely. Come on back. Ah, take a nice deep breath. All right, we're gonna do the other side. All right, so go ahead and begin to step back with your other foot. Your leg is straight and your standing leg is straight, but there's a little bit, tiny little bend in the knee. All right, and we begin to fold forward, straight, keeping that, that, that leg that you're lifting, that lifting leg nice and strong. In fact, you might want to squeeze your butt. Squeeze your butt, and as you squeeze your butt, that helps take some of the weight off of that leg. Now you can, again, you can reach out your arms, you can touch your partner, you can fly like a bird, or soar like a jet plane. And then come on back. All right, fun, you having fun? I hope you're having fun, I'm having a great time. All right, so now we're actually gonna get down on the floor. So I'm gonna, let me move the camera so it's down a little further so you can see what's going on. So, <clears throat> We're gonna come onto all fours and make sure those knees are now hip width apart and our arms are directly under our shoulders, nice and strong. 
And we notice that our belly is, our belly button's drawn in so that we're not just collapsing here, but we're in a nice straight neutral spine. But we're gonna do a little cat cow here. So we're gonna, let's again, moving with our breath. So we're gonna breathe in. And as we breathe in, we're gonna lift up our heart and lift up that tailbone. And then as we breathe out, we're gonna round our back into a Halloween cat. And this time, let's add some noise. Breathing in, sounding like a cow when you breathe out, moo. Inhale, come back into a Halloween cat and say meow. Breathing in, moo. Breathing out, meow. Once again, breathing in, and moo, and breathing out, meow. Now this time, come back to that neutral spine, so our back is fully straight. Tuck those toes under. We're gonna lift our knees, push the floor away from us, draw those hips back, and come into a, I bet you know, a downward dog, a downward facing dog. So we're gonna hold here for a minute and let your head just drop and say, say yes and then say no. And draw those shoulders back towards your hips so that we get an, our arms and our legs are, are like pillars. They're, again, like roots holding us, holding us steady. And you can press one heel down maybe and then press the other heel down just to get a little more stretch in those legs. And then we're gonna shift our weight forward, come down on your knees into a knee plank, letting those hips drop forward. So now we have a nice straight line from our knees up to our head. Draw those elbows in, bend the elbows, and come on down, chaturanga, say chaturanga. Come on down, lower down, and then Push the floor away from you, keeping those elbows in tucked tight towards your body. And just lift up your heart and squeeze those legs, to squeeze those legs, squeeze your butt so that we protect our lower back. And then push up back on your knees and come back. Push those hips all the way down, all the way back, sitting on your heels and come down into a child's pose. So we just rest our Arms could be out straight. Our knees are apart to give space for our, our body to sink in. Drop your head onto the, the forehead, onto the mat, or if your arms out straight, whatever you want. You can have your arms out in front of you. You can have them behind you, resting your shoulders. And take a few breaths there. In child's. Now bring your arms out again if they're not already out there. Let's all do that in one felt swoop. So we're gonna, we're gonna tuck our toes under, our back is straight. Remember, we have that nice neutral spine, draw that belly in, and then we're gonna tuck our toes under, breathe in, and then breathe out and come into a downward dog. And now we're gonna breathe in, we're coming to that plank. Now you can stay up high if you want, or come down on your knees, draw those elbows in, chaturanga. Come all the way down, lower down, push the floor away from you, hug those elbows, draw those shoulders down towards your hips, and come up into a snake, cobra. Can you go sss or make a snake sound? Wiggle that tongue, sss. All right, come on, push back up. Now we're gonna come right into a down dog, tuck those toes under, and push back into a down dog. Let's do that one more time. And bring, come forward, hips forward. Could be on your knees or up high. Chaturanga. Push the floor, come into cobra, snake, go sss. And push back up, toes under, come into a down dog. Now, <clears throat> you might wanna move your hands a little forward. We're gonna get, work up a little bit of energy here and we're gonna do a little bear walk. So we're gonna walk with our legs 
our hips up nice and high in a big circle and then come on back and we're going to do a mount a climber's run right a mountain climber run so we're going to let's just run our knees run our feet just like we're like we're running up a mountain don't forget to breathe all right, beautiful. Come back down on your knees. Sit back on your heels this time. Ah, <sighs> working up a sweat. Ah, we need that, don't we? And now, um, go ahead and bring your feet together. And we're going to be sitting in, um, well, we could call it cobbler's pose. Or we can, if you look at my knees, you can see that our feet, to get, our feet are together <clears throat> and our knees are like the butterfly wings. So we can shake our knees like a butterfly. All right? So we're going to raise our arms up and then we're going to drop one arm down and reach over and get a nice, beautiful side stretch. And then we're going to come back up and flip to the other side. And then we're going to come back to center and we're going to turn and look over our right shoulder and then come back to center and look over the opposite shoulder and then raise your arms up high and fold forward and just hold here. And this is our turtle. So we're going to pretend we're a turtle. And so our back is like a turtle shell and just breathe here. Let's see if we can take big deep breaths, even breathe into your back, breathe into that turtle shell. All right, so now we're in our final resting pose. So this is where we get to just take a moment of stillness to relax and turn and each of you on your mats, lay down very slowly to the count of 10, 9, 8, knees are bent, 7, squeeze those knees together, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lift those knees up and just go ahead and rock side to side. And lift those feet and go ahead and grab the outside of your feet if you can reach your feet. If uh, the outside of your feet, if you can't reach your feet, you can grab your ankles. And this is happy baby. So when you see babies just happy, they love to lift their legs up and play with their toes. And just go ahead and rock side to side. And drop your feet, length, straighten out your legs, straighten out your arms overhead. Give yourself a nice big stretch, reaching on opposite ends of the room. Reach, reach, reach. Squeeze your fists, squeeze your eyes, squeeze every muscle, the bone. Squeeze, 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 and drop down. Do that one more time. Squeeze, 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 squeeze everything. Mm, everything you can squeeze in your body. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And drop and relax. Bring your arms down by your sides, by your hips, palms facing up. And just go ahead and close your eyes. And just take a moment here of stillness. And this is actually probably the hardest pose of all in yoga, is to be still is to learn how to just be quiet and still our body and still our mind. And with our eyes closed, just see if we can imagine that we're by a beach or maybe we're just outside in a big field and we, all we hear is the wind blowing all around us and we're trying to be as still as possible in our final resting pose called Shavasana. 
and listen to the sound of your breath. Listening to nothing but the sound of your breath. And as you breathe out, feel your body just melting into the earth. And when a thought comes into your mind, Imagine that thought is like a leaf in a stream. And just watch that leaf drift down the stream and out of sight. And then come back to listening to the sound of your breath. I'm going to cap, count down back from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now wiggle your fingers and your toes. And with your eyes closed, slowly roll over to one side and just stay there, almost like that you're laying in bed and your knees are drawn in and you're resting your head on your arm, using your, your arm like a pillow. And just staying here for a moment. Taking a few breaths here. And now using your hands, push yourself up very slowly and come up to sitting. So I want to say thank you for joining me today. And remember that each one of us is unique and special, and each one of us has our own gift. And that's the most important thing. Nobody is better than anybody else. Okay? We each are special in our own way. Thank you so much for coming. May the light in me honor the light in each of you. Namaste.